Welcome to Curry and Cast. My name is Gurinder Singh. My name is Neil Kaur. My name is Jagandeep Singh. This is our story. Curry and Cask is an authentic Indian restaurant where we serve authentic Indian food as well as drinks. It's a very fresh and relaxed vibe. I was around 10 years old or something like that. My mom had operation on her feet. So she was on bed for probably a couple of months. So my dad used to help cooking, but when he was out on work, I started helping my mom. So she used to sit on the chair and keep telling me that, oh, put this ingredient, put this ingredient. So the taste was already there and started playing around with it. So that was my first attraction towards cooking. I'm making um, yellow lentil dal. When I grew up, my mother used to cook this daily, as my dad used to eat twice a day the same dal. Now we have a restaurant, so she doesn't have to cook anymore. But when I was a younger, uh, growing up, she used to make this at least three, four times a week. Absolutely love it. We'll start with another curry, eggplant. My mother knew that I was studying and I did, didn't knew cooking, so she just thought, okay, you just have to do cooking before you're getting married. That is Indian culture that you need to know how to cook before you get married. She trained me every day for one year before I got married. Like every Indian parent wants their child to be either a doctor or the engineer. And if there is a compromise, you can become an accountant. So <laughs> when I finished my year 12, my dad sent me to engineering college. Then that's where we met. When I saw her first time, uh, I was attracted to her. We are talking about around the year 1990. You know, in those days, love marriages were not very popular in India. It's still arranged by the families. He was bold enough to come to our house interstate. Okay, he was handsome, he was looking good, my father liked it. The parents said, finish your degree and then we'll talk about it. Then we came back in next semester and then we started dating each other, going out, having fun. And then that's how the love went on. For me, it was love from day one. <laughs> <laughs> so, dad makes tea every morning as soon as he gets up, that's his first job to do. If mom's in bed and uh, it's already 8 o'clock, she'll say, Guri, where's my tea? He says, I'm putting my love, my putting my love. Why don't we have that love every morning then? <laughs> so now he enjoys. He, he never complains now, so it's okay. Yes, yeah, it's become no a habit. He has no, uh, no choice. No choice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make the traditional style butter chicken. Now, the traditional way of cooking this is in the tandoor oven. So I did not get a chance to start the food business in India. It was in year 2008 when I decided to get into the food business. In 2009, we started our first restaurant in New Zealand. It was 2008, just before April, I was having a consultation to have a second child they figured out that I'm diagnosed with an ovarian cancer. In 2008, October, my chemo started. Jagandeep was very young at that time, but he just comes to me every morning, see my bald head, kiss and then go to school, and always tell me, I'm there for you, mom, if you need anything. A 10-year-old child telling that give, gave me a lot of positive energy to fight with it and do what is right for my body because I wanted to live for him. From then on, I don't see what is tomorrow. I don't care. I want to live today, so I live the best. And be happy. Be positive. Hmm? Is it good? <laughs> it, uh, it was a bit stressful time for us. And the other thing is that Jagandeep, so he was developing to be, become a good cricketer. So we took a decision that uh, we need a change. And that's when we decided to move to Australia. We could not see us going to have a romantic dinner at any Indian restaurant. So in early 2017, we decided we are going to get into restaurant business in Brisbane. 
It's not only a takeaway place where you just grab a food and go home. We can go and experience the Indian food. Okay, we came up with the name curry and cask. It was about the food and the drink. Last week, we had a young couple at this restaurant and they were meeting each other first time and it was at this place. We loved seeing that, you know. We uh, have a love marriage, so I think I can relate <laughs> that. <laughs> he feels good that somebody is coming onto the restaurant and having a date here. <laughs> I enjoyed a lot being part of Curry and Gas with Dad. Uh, we managed to open another one during COVID and growing the brand of Curry and Gas, which has been a very good journey, very uh, beautiful journey. Is the dal good? <laughs> huh? I was about to say that. Dal is very good. Can you imagine your life without it? No. In one word. <laughs> I wouldn't have found someone so much caring person in my life. Ha, 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 ha.